So may I come in? Yes, come in. Come. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Ashish. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Now you are a manufacturing engineer. Is yes. that so? Yes, sir. So tell us, uh, how can India become a manufacturing powerhouse? Our contribution of the manufacturing sector to the GDP is very small. China has a very large contribution. How do we boost that? How do we change our manufacturing policy to make it robust? So there is one point which I would like to address specially in this domain. Mm -hmm. That India has a high pool of low skilled labor. We need to utilize that. And uh, apparel and leather industry is one such sector where we need to move that labor. Okay. Uh, it is technically called special mismatch of labor and industry. Okay. That uh, industries are not located in those areas where such type of low skilled labor is found. So we need to get incentives to such type of industries to relocate to that area so that that labor will be absorbed. Employment will be provided and manufacturing landscape of India will improve. So these are the two industries, apparel and leather. What about high-tech industry manufacturing? So high-tech industry manufacturing <laughs> requires high-skilled labor. And India is already witnessing higher education participation. Gross enrollment ratio is increasing around 28% mm -hmm. we have reached. Mm -hmm. So that skilled manpower is being created. The high-tech manufacturing will definitely be there in a few years. But the manpower is still in the process of formation for that industry. So manpower is the major constraint today? Yes. Sir. Not other things? So there are other constraints, for example, resources are also there, technology is also there. We need to import technology, critical technologies for certain manufacturing industries. Okay. We need to have uh, like, uh, there are some policy concerns also, which have been addressed most of now. But people like you who are technically qualified for that industry, if they leave that industry and go to civil service, then how will India get, you know, competent people? Sir, uh, in my opinion, it all ultimately comes down to personal preference. So when uh, as a student of school, uh, school like 11th and 12th standard, so students decide their career based on employment opportunities suggested by the family. So my parents suggested that you should pursue engineering because the employment opportunities are good. So I gave the exam for JE and I got, got IIT Khadapur, that's a good college. So I got trained in that, I got an engineering uh, discipline and I became engineer by profession. But then I realized after doing job and all that I need to go out, I need to work with people. I need to work in a people centric job. So that's why I decided to move to administration. So there are definitely people who are moving, who are making a switch from engineering to civil okay, service. If you are appointed as district collector and seeker, what steps would you like to take to improve the ground level you know, situation in that state, in that district? Seeker. Yeah. So I am not aware of many problems of seeker district. You take Jaipur, you come from Jaipur, you come from Bharatpur, you take Bharatpur. Yes, sir. So Bharatpur mainly faces on the ground level the problem of caste. Caste system is very much prevalent in Bharatpur. Mm -hmm. The people, uh, actually, I lived in a town called Nadbai in Bharatpur, mm -hmm. where I witnessed residential segregation by caste. There were separate mohallas for caste and unofficially untouchability was practiced there. So I feel administration should uh, work in that dimension. If I am posted as collector of Bharatpur district, I'll definitely work upon that thing. Okay.